Hello everybody, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo and this is Matt Weiss. Our uh, other colleague, Chris, could not be here, a little under the weather, but he will be back tomorrow from what I am gathering. Um, uh, beyond that, you could also uh, go check out our friends at Nashville Strong or, mm -hmm. or check out the Nashville Strong Initiative in itself. Uh, the uh, Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee mm -hmm. um, a donation to their nonprofit will be attached to this video down at the bottom and we will also attach a link in the description of our video um, when we get them uploaded yep um, also uh, you can also go donate as well by going to nashvillepredators.com slash Nashville strong and mm -hmm. you can donate that way through their Smashville ticket ticks um, Donation area as well mm -hmm. so uh, Also, you can uh, speaking of uh, donations Yeah, yeah, we can check out uh, Wisconsin adaptive sports association mm -hmm. um, They do everything from sled hockey to quad rugby to go ball to wheelchair bowling tennis basketball uh, lacrosse and rugby. Mm -hmm. And you can visit that all at wasa.org. There's three different ways you can donate. Uh, or if you aren't in the, if you aren't able to donate, just spread their uh, website by word of mouth, share their Facebook page, and uh, take a look at their Twitter page. You can't really go wrong. No, you cannot. Uh, but, uh, we wouldn't be here today, Dan, where we are, because we're, what, a year and a half now? Yeah, a year and a half, um, almost two. Almost two years. Because uh, that's uh, our first season, me and Chris had talked about it the minute, uh, um, we, we won't talk about that, <laughs> that that came out, but uh, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uh, this season, at least, mm -hmm. if it was not for our wonderful friends at Hockey, Hockey Locker. Locker. 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. You could also, they will outfit you from head to about belt buckle uh, with uh, fan merchandise and uh, outfit you from hockey player from head to toe. They, they got your helmet covered all the way down to your skates, socks, and breezers. <laughs> Can't beat that. Uh, you can get, also get referee gear if you uh, want to learn how to try and be a competent ref. Oh, very oh, rare. Oh. Very rare. But you could try. You gotta be an enforcer usually. <sighs> and I also apologize for my shirt. I didn't realize that the Predators... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're kind of wearing the Admiral color now, but yes. your, uh, your uh, Winter Classic, or is it your Blackout hat has seen it. It's had its day. <laughs> yeah. I had this down pat earlier. It does not want to work now. Uh, That's the the magic of green screen for you. Yes, yes, it is. However, there wasn't really any magic today for the admirals. <sighs> we had a rough one today, but as they always say, Mama said there go be nights like this. Oh yeah. Um, shots were forty six thirty one admirals. The power play was zero for six. And Texas was two for three. <sighs> There's a lot of issues where I think our guys were getting go at it and they kind of were bait and switched. Yeah. Where you can't, you can't. Tolvanen them... in for roughing? Yeah. So, yeah. It wasn't, like, if you look at a lot of these penalties, there's just, uh, even on both sides, too, it's just. A lot of repeat offends, which you can't have this happen, guys. Like, what is it? We got high sticking, fighting with uh, Olivier and uh, Andre Jvala. That's not anything spe anything new. But also, Ben Harper and uh, Andre Jvala uh, roughing themselves. Wait, roughing by... Roughing by Tolvanen and Bl Brad McClure? Yeah. What? <laughs> yes, uh, we are goal scorers. Let's drop the gloves. <laughs> Jeez, stay tuned for that. I'm going to check that out on the highlight reel. 
But no, uh, tonight was just one of those nights, and unfortunately, we got to sit through the barrage of, you know, woe is me on social media. Here's the thing, and, and I'm going to say this. Go ahead. Regarding this team. Mm-hmm. What's our magic number? Magic number as of uh, this morning? Yes, six. We don't know until we probably wake up tomorrow morning. If that shifted. If it's changed at all. Because, mind you, everybody, we also had, uh, what is it, three, was it three of our uh, conference, or excuse me, three of our divisional teams play. And they all lost. They all lost, two of them in overtime. Yes, and one lost in regulation. Yeah. Um, outside of Grand Rapids, who we didn't need winning, they did win, no. but it doesn't hurt or help in any manner. Not to mention that the Rochester Americans beat the Belleville Senators. The second place Belleville Senators League overall uh, beat them 4-2. to two. So, literally, nothing in the league changed at all. We basically got a free pass. Yeah. This is... When you have a stinker of a game, this is a night where you can feel like, okay. You can just push this one behind you, focus on San Antonio now. Yep. Um, um, scoring? Scoring, let's get into it. Uh, first one on the board would come from Texas with Jason, um, Jason Robinson with his 25th. After a power play, I'm guessing from the Tanner Janot slashing p- penalty, uh, assisted by... Uh, Tanner Carroll with his 24th, and Gavin Bayreuther with his 22nd. Uh, the lone Admiral's goal would come by Cole Schneider, uh, his 17th with an uh, assist by Matt Donovan, his 26th, and Daniel Carr, welcome, welcome back, back. <laughs> 25. Oh, wait, 25. we did it wrong. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know if that'll put any more pep in his step if he hears us doing that. But, um, as you know, you now just got to hear me sing. <laughs> and hopefully it might be the last time. But if we get more likes and follows, maybe we'll hear some more. <laughs> anyway, we go into the second period where it would be nothing but Texas from here on out. Reese Scarlett would score his fifth goal with an assist by Joel Lesperance, his 15th, and uh, Jason Robertson, his 20th. Next in the second, uh, we would have Josh Melnick on the power play with his fifth. With an assist by Joel Hanley, his 10th, and Nicholas Camano with his 13th. Um, we also believe that that power play was Reb Pitlick's. Yeah, that was... Yeah, uh, I tripping remember... Tripping penalty, and... Sometimes tripping penalties are the weakest call, yeah. and then sometimes you deserve it. So, I unfortunate... Well, I fortunately... Had to be at two places at once. Mm-hmm. Um, I was listening on the radio and I heard it. And I'm just like, yep. Like I could kind of hear it in Aaron's voice, Aaronson's voice. I'm just like, yeah. What can you do? It's where I just kind of felt the play because I like rarely, like rarely seeing Ben Pitlick getting caught for tripping. Okay. All right, and then in the third we had Joel Lesprance with his 23rd with an empty net goal with an assist from. Joel Kivaranta and Dylan Hetherington, both of their 11th. And this was an empty net goal. Yeah. Like, I so, was, I mean, basically, they won off of the power play. They did. I was actually adamantly surprised to see that there were two bench miners by uh, Texas today in the first and third period. Too many, too men. many men on the ice. I'm like, what are you doing? At this point in the season, and, and I think me and you can agree on this, you don't need to be having those. If it's week one, first game and they're having those, but, yeah. Yeah, you're having it at this point of the season. Uh, but we saw that from Texas the other day, too, yeah. with, with their game against Nashville. There's, so, so there's got to be miscommunication going there's on. There's something the in the Texas water where yeah. there's too many men on the ice. Yeah. The, oh, wait, they don't have ice. Yeah. It's all a mirage. <laughs> but yeah, Daniel Carr getting called with high sticking. Uh, then we had a fight between Matthew Olivier and Andres Vala, as I said earlier, basically to just close off the game itself. Three stars of the game. Let's get to it. Uh, all being Texas stars, our third star would be Jason Robertson with one goal and one assist. Our second is Reese Scarlett with a goal and no assists. And uh, first star going to goaltender Jake Ottinger with uh, uh, 46 or 45 of 46 saves. 
And former Buckeye. Yeah, former Ohio State Buckeye, which, you know, I don't like that anymore. <laughs> uh, let's take a look and see if we have any crap listers. Oh, well, minus ones, you guys get a pass normally from me because minus one, that's not the worst night. Minus two, however. Oh, Friday. Yeah, I'm sorry, but when you wear that A, too. Friday. You're, you're better not than supposed that. to have those nights. You're better than that, dude. But you know what? Like I like I said at the beginning of this video, he did have five shots on net. That's true. He was, it wasn't like he wasn't trying to amend his bat. Do, do you know who I am going to add on that list? I'm, Anthony, I'm adding Anthony Richard. I want to add to that because he's been, like, the decline that he's been going through in the last, mo like, several months is ridiculous. I, I, I also think that it doesn't help that when Nashville's going like this with guys. Yeah. Yeah, and riding not, the elevator. And he was playing well. Mm -hmm. And then they called him up. Yep. And then he came back down, and he has not been the same since. Yeah. Like, you got also, the Mika Salamaki effect. The other one, Daniel Carr had seven shots on goal. Again, I think he was this close to because this is him coming back after injury, right? So this is him trying to come back to that form where he is still currently the top goal getter and point scorer. Was a point scorer for the for the the team right now. Like that's that's beyond. Uh, and here's the other thing, like. Michael McCarron, like we've no seen pims. no pims, but no shot attempts. One was there only one? Yeah, he had one. Okay, he had only one. All right, but uh, I mean, like Tommy Novak, four shot attempts. Uh, Ellie Tolvanen, four shot attempts. T Tolvanen's shot is getting better and better as long as he could get the them to go in. If and I don't want to hear people docking on him going in the box tonight. That's a fluke. <laughs> roughing. Oh, roughing. I'm like, roughing? Yeah. Him? That'd be like Kevin Fiala with roughing. Well, that's just it. Like, this one just feels like a bad day. Yeah. This one, like, where you're seeing these odds and ends. You're like, like, one of these things just doesn't belong Especially here. Our, one of our best rookies in Rem Pitlick Who? going to the box, too. Yeah, it was almost like one of those, like, if you look at the Pims night. It's not even in any no, manner. Not at all. I will say that maybe, I don't know, I think it's time for Atwal to go back down. Yeah. I, Atwal, with with the Atwal in the in the lineup, the Admirals are 6, 3, and 1. Yeah. I'm not trying to say that in any way despite Atwal. It just doesn't look like he's ready at all. But uh, should we get to the goaltenders? Well, we already know what Jake Ottinger did. He stopped 45 of 46, but Troy stopped 27 of 30. Again, I'm not putting the blame on him at all. Again, there's so much. This one just stunk of miscommunication. Or not even that. It, it, it just was a good old it, bait and switch. It was that, and Ottinger had a good night. And Troy did not. And again, like you have your slumps. Especially as a goalie. We learned that with Pekka Rene, did we not? Yeah. And look what he did the next year. Yeah. When, when he had his slump the next year, he here's the thing. He slumped bad yeah. the year that before they went to the Cup. Yeah. And he came back how? Dominating. What what did, what, what trophy did he win? What, that, tro that, what trophy did he win, Dan? That Vesna trophy. Yeah, you're right. Right after that. So, I mean... Sometimes all it takes is just a slump to kind of go, hey, get it together. I have to do that to myself sometimes. As you see, I got the, the whole hand gesture to yourself effect down. Right. But attendance at the HEB Center in, at Cedar Park was uh, 6,778. Not bad for a Saturday night. Uh, let's get on to our coaches. Uh, head coach of the Texas Stars was Neil Graham. With an assistant coach, uh, Travis Morin. Former st Dallas star. Ooh, there you go. Uh, for the Admirals, we had a head a coach. A long time Texas star. Uh, <laughs> right? uh, for the Admirals, uh, head coach Carl Taylor with assistant coaches Scott Ford and Greg Rollo. Um, referees were uh, Jake Rakuki uh, for his 84th game. No, that's his number. Oh, number 84. Excuse me. If they played 84 games, that'd probably be too many. <laughs> 
Uh, referee, uh, additionally, uh, referee uh, Carter Sandlack and linesman's uh, linesman uh, Brady Fagan and uh, Christopher Williams. So, with that in mind, let us move to another oh, road again. We're going on the road again. We're back on the road again. Where are we going? We're going to the AT and T Center in San Antonio. I think this is our last road game with them. Oh, then we're going to Vegas, huh? Yeah, let's not talk about that. Because uh, I'm sure we said this in our other other videos, but uh, the uh, the transaction to uh, relocate the uh, San Antonio Rampage was indeed uh, confirmed and approved by the AHL Board of Governors. So all the owners basically approved. So they are all, but <laughs> all but all one. All but one. <laughs> yeah. We all know who it was. We don't need to ask. Nope. All right, so uh, San Antonio, huh? Their uh, top five point getters are as follows. Derek Pouliot with seven goals, 23 assists, 39 points. Uh, Mike Vachoni, uh 21 goals, 15 assists for 36 points. Uh, Nathan Walker with uh, 19 goals, 13 assists for 32 points. Clem Costin with uh, 13 goals, 18 assists for 31 points. And Nolan Stevens with nine goals, 22 assists, with 31 points. Um, in their last 10, they are 7 and 3. Again, I still... However, st they are yeah. riding a 2-0 losing streak. So, I'd like to point out that they, the reason that they've been doing the this well in their last 10... Like, have you... Like, you agree with me on this. I know it. That ever since they got the news from uh, their, uh, their then-ownership... Or well, I guess it is their current ownership now. But uh, when they got the news that they were being sold off, they kind of uh, there was a fire that you know just kick started. Like yep. there was just a reason to kind of give them a last hurrah, and I'm okay with that. I'm more than okay with that because, like, just don't do it in arts. But... No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't see their goaltenders, so we're gonna have to go to stats. Yeah, I don't want to go to stats. Let's go to the goalie stats. We're going to the goalie stats. Hooray. Hooray. Um, also, um, should add in here that uh, I will be the doing a solo for the Admirals on Wednesday. Because I believe uh, Chris has something going on. You have school, of course. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, well, I have nothing to do, so <laughs> I'm going to go sit with uh, anywhere around, like, 10,000-plus screaming children. <laughs> uh, we're your best ear protection. Ah, uh, it's all right. I'll be with Jeff. We'll be good. <laughs> Shout out to lead Jeff the, You're going to lead the kids into our chants? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. The teachers might agree with you. Or they actually, no, I think they would agree with you. I was... I, I was going to say disagree, but nope, I think they would agree with you. Yeah. All right, uh, for uh, goaltenders, we have, uh, I guess, starter Ville Husso with uh, 41 games played, uh, 102, was it 102 goals allowed with four shutouts, 16 wins, 16 losses, and eight overtime losses? Correct. With a save percentage of .909 and a shutout percentage of .773. Uh, next up is Adam Wilcox with 21 games played with 59 goals allowed. Um, 8 wins, 7 losses, 4 overtime losses, no shutouts. A save percentage of .879 and a shutout of 800 or 0.800 shootout uh, yeah a shootout of 800 excuse me um goals was it uh goals allowed average for Ville Huzo is 2.57 and Adam Wilcox at 3.04 their so, empty net is at 10.36 <laughs> so not exactly good with the man advantage <laughs> nope so but then again, the total average, including the empty net, is a 2.84. So, not exactly anything, like, 
of a benefit. Also, uh, in comparison to the last time we played them, San Antonio's, like I said as before, San Antonio's playing with a different fire. Yes. Also added that uh, the Admirals are going to come in with that same one today. Yep. Because this is not the way. Because it is now officially past midnight. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, no, there's definitely, like, going to be hopefully a change in play and attitude, especially, because they got, they got rattled. They got rattled today, but with the, the way the league played out today, they got themselves a free pass. And they might get themselves a couple, or is it at least a point shaved off their magic number. Oh, speaking of playing and uh, doing your best, uh, you can always uh, float yourself over. And do your best to help us uh, support our lovely sponsor over there and Hockey Walker. Yeah. Uh, they'll help you play your best game on the ice and play uh, help you support the guys play their best game in the stands. Uh, they're Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. Uh, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Or you could call them at 414-800-7585. Or you can visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Um, also check, uh, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Check out our other videos. Go over to YouTube. Check out, uh, I will be uploading, uh, probably tomorrow. Our, uh, NHL jersey, AHL. AHL jersey editorial. Do mind, we messed up. We know it. Yeah. <laughs> it happened. We admit it. Yep. We're amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> we are. I mean, we are. Yeah. Uh, none of us have a communications degree or no. anything like that, or editing degree. We're or... just we're just fans. Uh, well, as I put it to the uh, president of the Admirals, just a bunch of knuckleheads talking hockey. <laughs> um, but yeah, speaking of knuckleheads, uh, I'm Daniel Goodemo, and this is Matt Weiss, and we will see you guys later. Take it easy, everybody.